He's worked with 8 Airtel in multiple roles in sales and marketing, spent a few years in Accenture in management consulting and in the last five years at Google worked across multiple industries, mainly telecom, financial services and e-commerce. Please get up, Dhruv Dhawan. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon everyone. Okay, this light's kind of a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, how do you like the previous session? Yeah, and that's my worry. I mean, I'm following six celebrities literally off stage, uh, and uh, it's not uh, going to be something I'm very excited about. But I'm hoping the next 30 minutes that I'm going to spend with you will add a lot more in terms of knowledge, uh, which helps marketing and digital today. Uh, so quick show of hands, um, how many marketeers, marketing heads in the house? Marketing heads? All right. How many media planners in the house? Okay, hands are not going up too high. Anyway, uh, and agencies, media agencies, okay, that's a larger number. Anyway, thank you for that. Um, so what, what I'm going to do in the next 30 minutes really is uh, talk to you about, let me see if this works. Okay, it worked faster than I wanted it to. So, uh, over the last many years, uh, we've been working with uh, Kantar, Milward Brown, and a bunch of other publishers in the ecosystem. I've been working with them on something called the Cross Media. Cross Media Research is uh, Kantar's own uh, proprietary trademark research that they uh, do every time they work with a brand, uh, largely to do these four things. So if you look at uh, what, what this research does, it, it has a single source GRP panel, which means that every uh, impression that's coming on essentially looks at um, just the simple uh, correlation to that particular media. Typically in media research, which has been done traditionally, there is a whole element of uh, claimed uh, data that we have. And with uh, this particular research, there is the OTS measurement. So irrespective of whether you've actually said that you've seen the impression at that particular media, that the, the panel actually allows you to uh, just look at it from an overall opportunity to see perspective. The, the great part and the reason why it excites all of us uh, about what uh, Kantar Miller-Brown is trying is it really segregates the media influence. And that's what I'll be talking about in the next few slides, is if you do break up your media planning into TV, display, uh, radio, outdoor, digital, even in digital you can go into video display, how does that all kind of come together? And uh, for every of these studies that they run, uh, and they're close to about 600 globally that they've run, uh, they do have at least a minimum sample size of about 1,400. They've run uh, about 50 plus studies in the space of auto, FMCG. I've personally been involved in a few of those as well uh, while my time at Google. And uh, it, it really is a, is a large, diverse set of data that they've looked at, basis which we've uh, come to a few of these effectiveness uh, measurements. So what the study really looks at is, of course, reach. It does look at brand impact. Now, brand impact here for all the marketers in the room uh, is, is really about those three things on the side, salience, imagery, and consideration. Salience, do you know about the brand? Um, imagery, what is the association with the brand? And consideration, will you really go ahead and buy the brand? No rocket science there. But I, I know over the years that I've worked, and it's, it's a fairly long time, a lot of brands kind of define it in a much, uh, in, in the way that the product and their market really looks at. So I worked with Airtel, and Airtel looks at something called uh, top of mind awareness uh, and, and the intention to purchase, as they call it. So top of mind awareness would be salience, and intention to purchase would be consideration. Am I, am I catching through? There's a lot of more slides with a lot of data. So keep me engaged. I don't want it to become a classroom professor session. Are you with me so far? I'm going to have questions after this, and I think uh, Tech Munch has got some prizes. No, I know you don't, but I'm just like, kind of keep you engaged. Okay, moving on. Uh, 
what I'm going to be talking, and this looks at video, it looks at TV, the research looks at many other media forms, but I'm going to really focus on uh, the impression that is linked to print and digital, which is display here, not, not video. And if you look at the way uh, we've, looked, we've observed with these 20 studies, um, impact share is the definition of what has been the incremental impact to any of the previous metrics. So whether it's salience, Remember, I'm, I said I'm going to keep it engaging, so I, I would love someone to throw back what I've been talking about on the previous slide. Salience, imagery, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, and the incremental on that is something that uh, is, is measured, and print does about 12%, at least these studies through that, and, and digital has about 11%. But the investments, if you look at it, on print were far higher than digital, right? So 16% of that media plan went on to print uh, for only an impact of 12% versus 5% for 11. So clearly di the digital uh, display impression has a fairly larger effectiveness. And if you look at uh, average impact, so across again all those three metrics, if you, and across these many 200 studies, there is uh, a number that comes on average impact. So. If you look at, just to demystify this, the key takeaway is four impressions on display deliver the same impact as one impression on print. Now, of course, you can come back and uh, anyone who bought a print ad, not brought, yeah, actually bought a print ad recently? Anyone? Regional? Local? Man. So it's all digital, I'm assuming, so. I don't know why I'm preaching here. Clearly, everyone's moved to digital. Okay, so, um, but, but if, if, you, if you have, and then you've also run uh, display in parallel, what you can see is that uh, the effectiveness per 1,000 GRPs is, is clearly higher, and it's four times that. So 2% for print and about 8.4% on digital. Now, I know, and I'm hoping some of those questions come in, but I'm preempt them, is, is but print I do for my sales teams, uh, print I do for my dealer network, print I do for uh, just the impact on, on in the morning. But, but do realize that the time and the frequency that print has is still just limited to just uh, morning. Having said that, through this course of the next few minutes, I will take you through a combined joint media planning strategy as well, which will definitely help some of you. Um, so just to summarize again, for 16% of investment share, your reach actually is much lesser as well. Anyone knows which is the print uh, number one print publication in the country? Yes? No, not you. Because <laughs> we did this very recently as well. I heard that, yes. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Uh, Jagran is, of course, largest. Anyone knows what TOI's numbers are? I heard something. Anyone? Yeah, it's about 10. I, maybe lesser, and, and again, it's, um, it obviously keeps changing. But that to display networks today reach about 300 odd million. Uh, users in the country, right? So just to give you some perspective that from a reach perspective, 23% to 38%, and these are all these studies only, and because it's a sample set that we've looked at, and from an efficiency standpoint, 5x is the impact if you look at investment, impact, and reach. So uh, if one had to plan, display influences about one-fourth your total impact on the incremental consideration. And, and this is a function of close to 54 studies. Sorry, I keep looking at those numbers because all of these slides, the those numbers of the studies keep changing. Uh, so that, that's, that's just a bit of... And um, like I mentioned, it's should I do print? Should I do display? I'm sure a bunch of you agencies, uh, marketeers, keep thinking of what's the right mix. Um, it's not about either or and. Now is the time to really always do joint planning. Because if you think about it, uh, A, of course, print has limited time share during the day. And uh, we all know, by the way, if you're not on digital well-being on Android users, I saw the guy who got the iPhone. He might not remain on Android for too long. Isn't that you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but for the others who are Android users, uh, it, it would be great for you to switch on digital well-being. And that will tell you how many times you reach out to your phone every day. It'll scare you. 
uh, and I know I shouldn't be talking about these things because that means you might not go that often on your phones. But but just to give you perspective, it might not, it'll, nothing will change, considering all we heard about TikTok and influencers. Uh, and someone even tweeted, I saw that uh, they've gone and checked the boys don't who cry. What, what, what is all that about? Uh, so so none of none of what I'm saying is going to change your behavior, and hence uh, you really must plan for both. Uh, and the way to read this slide is, again, impact. Whenever I say impact, it's a, it's a mix of those three. I go back to those three, salience, consideration, imagery, and incremental impact when someone's run a, res a, a media plan on that. So 19% is, uh, uh, so, so here you actually need to read channels as the number of places you put your ads, so publications mostly. And the incremental impact are, is about 19% for X number of channels, and it goes up to 35. Uh, and in India, 32% of all that return can be explained by just doing media planning effectively. We have all these touch points. I spoke about them in the beginning. And there is a clear correlation and a very strong synergy between display and print on doing them together. What is So again, when, when we do have uh, the media, it's so important to have the right set of creative strategy behind it. Uh, and, and I am sure a bunch of you, we work with closely on creative strategy as well. We've got Ignition Labs that started off with display, today even helps. Uh, how many of you were there for Hani session yesterday? Any hands up? All right, yeah. So Hani, Hani has been doing this for many years. And he's, he and Guneet are the, the chief architects, so to speak, of how have we worked with a lot of the advertisers, creative agencies, to help them define their media strategy, sorry, the content strategy. And it, it really is about personalization. So when I am in that moment, uh, you know, we worked with Uber, and Uber did a lot of work on just customizing the moment. So if I'm uh, it, during the beginning of the day, mid-afternoon, end of the day, when I'm taking a cab, the communication to me is different. Geo communication to me is, can be different. So depending on the city I'm in, the weather I'm on, so we can we pick a lot of these signals, and we can actually help advertisers build customized creatives on that. And finally, formats. So there are carousals now. Uh, there are. Uh, which, of course, uh, Facebook has been made it famous, but we've also now got home feed ads uh, on YouTube. We've got our Discover, which is the new latest. If you swipe on the left on your home screen on Android, you will see a lot of um, good content, customized content there. But, but really, it's about working effectively on creative. So what you've done on print, how, how beautifully is it adapted on, on digital. And the more integrated it is, the higher is the impact. Right, so 167 of the, of the, again, sorry, I'm going to keep finding that number of studies. I think it's about 100, or actually 1,000. 167 of the 1,000 studies gave integrated planning about 67% of uh, higher impact. So again, just narrowing it down to coming to really how should you plan for display and print. Uh, if, if you look at the chan number of channels on print, and again, these are publications. Please read channels as publications here, because we are talking uh, only display and print. Up to 20, uh, uh, if you take, let's say, 20 uh, publications as part of your strategy, you see 68% impact, and that keeps diminishing. Right? Similarly, on print, up to 10 is great, but after that, it diminishes. So the sweet spot really is to have a mix, and that kind of is the 30% of your overall uh, budgets that you need to look at, right? So 30% of print and online display is, is a great mix to have for an overall budget. At the same time, 65% uh, of that we recommend should be print and 35% digital. And this is really coming out of all the data points that you saw. Um, yeah, I know it's a data-heavy uh, slide, uh, data-heavy presentation, but I'm hoping I'm keeping you guys engaged enough. So uh, with all that, Right? And uh, just quick trivia, uh, not trivia, but quick questions. So how many impressions on display equal one impression on print? One insert? No, this is table. <laughs> Anyone else in the audience? See, I told you it's a tough one to follow. Tech munch. <laughs> Sorry, any, anyone, guys? I, four. Four, yes, thank you, ma'am. I think you're listening, so are you. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me and my, uh, my professor 
stance here. Um, and, and the next one is going to be very interesting, so keep your eyes and ears open for this. What, what we've done is we've taken all of this data and we've gone and had conversations with a lot of our key clients. And I'm going to talk about some of those examples here, which will help you understand that all of that, when put to real use, it can have business impact as well. So we worked with Kalyan Jewelers. And Kalyan Jewelers, as most of you know, is South-based jewelry brand based in uh, Malam Malapuram, I think, yes. And uh, they've worked with us on driving, using digital display to drive store visits. And with the pilot that they did, we've seen a, it becoming a sustain always on campaign, but also in terms of, just look at the numbers here, right? 10% growth in walk-ins for 33% lower than print. And mind you, you would have never seen Kalyan Jewelers go massive on print. So this is really regional print we are talking. Okay. Um, and in terms of, uh, if you look at the return on ad spent, it's 70x. So this is a clear classic example of when you do the switch or the media planning. Here it's obviously gone completely digital. They have not laid it with print. But yes, depending on the budget and the objectives, you can always look at um, mixing display in a much larger manner. And so uh, Sanjay, who's a great uh, uh, you know, trusted uh, partner of ours, uh, did share a quote where he's really happy with the way we've been able to drive store visits in North. By the way, this is not even South, it's actually North India, and opened the doors for us to strengthen, uh, partner with them on other markets. The next example is about Renault. Uh, and we worked with them on uh, essentially getting calls to their dealers. So that's the next level of uh, us mapping their dealer network uh, using Google My Business. Uh, everyone's use, everyone knows Google My Business? Anyone who doesn't know? Okay, that's good. Uh, so Google My Business is when you search for any uh, local store or places near me, dealers near me, you will see a bunch of listings that come out. And these, uh, what we've done is we've taken those listings, mapped it into our systems, and then ran these campaigns. And if you see, it's not animating right now, but uh, it, the, if when you click on the call to the nearest dealer, it does open up a list of the dealers you want to call to. So you can choose from there and dial that and kind of reach out to them. What they saw, 23% increase in qualified leads compared to print. Again, clearly uh, we've been able to establish proof points over print at lesser cost. And this, from testing it out in one geo, was expanded to multiple geos. And Virat, who's again a great uh, confidant uh, colleague of ours, actually partner of ours, has, has been gracious enough to uh, share this quote where he's really called out that as a pilot, uh, we, they tried it. So when all of us, a bunch of me, go out there, talk about these things, uh, you guys don't believe us initially, so you say, okay, just let's start a pilot. That's how they started. And it really became a tailored solution for them uh, to drive qualified leads. We did some work with Home Center, again, uh, and they had a sale coming up of, again, these the sales happen all the time, and they switched budgets and they had a plan where that saw 19% increase in sold store sales and about 20% increase in online sales. Um, again, all of this was led to, so most of this starts with a certain geography and then expands Pan India. Sorry, I think it's the call for the video after this. No, okay. So yeah, so see, see again, um, a great proof point here. Uh, there was no conclusive proof they had that digital works. With this, they were able to really deliver the omni-channel impact. And uh, now we are deep partners with them and we're scaling it across geographies. So really three big brands in their own ways in different sectors uh, who've used digital very effectively for offline metrics largely. Okay, I'm going to switch to a small video. So uh, like Home Center, we've also done uh, some work. Uh, actually, yeah, is, is Shopper stop after this? Sorry. <laughs> so uh, just the last one on HP, similar results, great uh, uh, work uh, in terms of online omni-channel return on investment. This omni-channel, you would look at it as to say, spend X on digital, but finally you did get sales, visits converted to sales when you looked at the uh, end funnel. And uh, again, let, just like to take you through a two minute video that uh, we worked with Shopper Stop on. Mm -hmm. 
I'm Govind Srikande, Customer Care Associate and Managing Director of Shopstop. We run department stores, hypermarkets, books formats, specialty retail, almost 300 stores across various sizes and formats. We are a department store format targeting young professionals and fashionable families. So when I look at our customers, we have a large base of loyalty program, more than 4 million. Almost all of them are online. But when I look at the split of sales, 98 to 99% of sales is coming brick and mortar. Just about 1% is coming through the online. When I spend some money on digital, I actually know how many customers have ended up on my site. But how do I find out how many customers ended up in my store? So in our discussions, it came out that Google has a product already in place called Store Sales Direct. With the help of Google's product, we are able to really understand how many customers from our loyalty membership program went online, searched Google, and then ended up on our site for digital shopping, and how many of them went ahead and also shopped in a physical store. So for every $1 that we spent on digital, we got $2 spent on digital, which is our online site, and $3 spent in brick and mortar store. One as to five. Can you ask for a better ROI than that? I think one as to five is fantastic. So basket size was up by 30% because customers who are getting influenced by digital tend to experience things in the store. I think the results are phenomenal. Uh, we never thought that the results would be so great and so stark. This kind of understanding, this kind of a study helps us to really give more weightage to digital and really understand how do we really drive our advertising spend to get more ROI. Okay, so just to summarize, and I see there's a timer here, 10 minutes. I would love to keep it interactive and take a few questions. Uh, so just to summarize, takeaways, number one, one in print impression equals four on digital, on display. Display is with that as a, as a metric on effectiveness. It's also 5x more efficient in terms of driving reach. Multi-channel campaigns, so when you do club your print, uh, plans along with display, they are far more efficient and effective. The optimal, as per all those studies that I took you through across auto, CPG, telco, and a bunch of other industries is, is about 65 to 35 is what we recommend, or, or rather the, the, the study recommend. And finally, uh, it really drives business outcomes. So you saw four large businesses uh, whether it was Kalyan, Renault, Shopperstop, Home Center, HP, actually five, that have used these uh, solutions very, very effectively and, and helped drive true business value to their dealers, to their customers, uh, and also at a much cost-effective manner. So with that, uh, open to questions. Uh, happy to take a few. Yes, sir. Can anyone please hand over a mic here? Please do introduce yourself uh, with the company and the nature of business. That will be helpful. Yeah, hi, my name is Pratik. I work with Chapaji Palanji Real Estate. So right. as the name suggests, we are from real estate. Sure. Uh, one thing which you mentioned here was about the store sales uh, yes. product of Google. So uh, was it able to track the sales which happened or the walk-ins which happened to so, the store? So the both? product does both. Uh, we, of course, so the way the, the product works, it also works on maps and location, of course, as a function of how you've uh, allowed Android by default anyways has location. If you're using maps, you have to give that API. And what we do is using Wi-Fi and a bunch of other signals, uh, keeping it all very anonymous, are able to drive at our level, if the GMB listing, like I mentioned, the Google My Business listing is accurate, you can measure the visit. So the person's walked in, that using, if he's clicked on an ad and walked in, you're able to measure that. So that's the whole flow. Sales is a function of what data you would feed back in, right? So f let's say, and then there is a CRM tag, uh, which is an identifier, and that would allow you to measure back sales. So for $100, let's say you've invested, you've seen 50 visits, but five people have converted. That five data has to come back to us from your own systems. 
And is this only Android specific or also on iOS? Uh, I think majority of it is Android. Majority of it would be Android, but again, if uh, you have, actually if you have maps on iOS, we would still be able to track some of that. But uh, with those... Uh, 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 yeah, I mean 95% of, of users are on Android on smartphones, so we kind of cover most people. There is obviously an accuracy uh, question about 6 to 10% depending on location, because also in hyper malls and markets, uh, vertical becomes slightly challenging, but more or less we've seen we get about 90, 90 95% accuracy. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Right up back, backstage, back seat. Sorry, sorry, I can't even see you. Please, your name and your company. Hi, I'm Tina, and I work for the Hershey Company. And I, I uh, can't hear you too well, ma'am. Sorry. The stand. Tina, okay. if you could just be Perfect. a little more louder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm Tina. I work for the Hershey Company. And uh, my question is, uh, video was not part of this uh, cross-media meta that you showed. So do you have some of that? Can you share it offline or whatever? No, absolutely. And uh, do you have anyone who works with you from Google? Uh, uh, not directly, but... Uh, my name, full name at google.com, drop me a mail and we'll help you more with it. Because okay. uh, actually all of this does cover TV and, and YouTube video. Video here defined by either YouTube or Facebook largely. Very recently, we've seen uh, Kantar Milward Brown has started working with Hotstar as well because that scale has also yeah. gone up. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, it actually the more media dollars, if you know, are in, with TV. Uh, so we did solve, find a solve for TV. But since this particular topic in deck really talked about display and print. So a couple of things I'll drop you an email on. One yes, is the video part of it. The other, if you have any good case study on building a brand through search. That's sure. something I've been... Sure. Yeah. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to Think with Google, I hope everyone has in this room. Shirin kind of prompted me to tell everyone that, like, make sure, like, everyone was doing influencer marketing, right? This is the way we market. Okay, any, any, any question? I have five more minutes. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm Naveen from Pune. I work in a real estate firm again. Hi, Naveen. Uh, j the question here is that the mix that you have spoken about, print right. plus digital, while uh, on a national level player, it probably might work well. Do you still suggest the same for a localized business like real estate? So, so Reno that you saw was, in fact, all our pilots have never been on national level. A, we'll never have the budgets or the clients that, actually, because you exactly. saw all of them, all the case studies were pilots, right? So in a pilot, you're typically looking at a city. Uh, and, and it starts there where you want to see impact, where you know you have a business challenge or, or your sales are low. And we start there and we show impact and then we scale across markets. So none of these are national. Most of them are city specific. Okay. Do we have any further questions from the audience? All right, to the gentleman out there, could we get the mic yes, quickly passed right there? Hi, I'm Devar here from Animalist. Devash? Devashish. Devashish, yes. From Animalist. Uh, actually, at the start of the PPT uh, presentation, uh, you mentioned something about digital well-being. Yes, yeah. actually during, my, so, during the course of... Yeah, actually, uh, like, uh, I'm a bit confused about it. Can you please elaborate on so it? So go to your settings in your Android. Are you an Android user? Yeah. Okay, it depends on which version of Android you're on. But Android Pi. Android mm. Pi, yeah, the nine. recent one, right? Android 9, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, just go to settings. Uh, in most of those, we've upgraded it to have a tab on well-being. So you will see screen save, you basically can pull down. Uh, uh, for instance, for me, 9 p.m. onwards, the screen just goes over black and white. Uh, that's a recent upgrade on Android that we've done, and that allows you to A, disconnect, because otherwise screen time can be injurious to health. It already is. Um, and uh, it also allows for a lot of analytics on the type of apps you're using, how often do you hit those apps, usage in a day, month, or from time or really, so. Does it uh, give any kind of warning like you have, like... Yes, you, you can set, you can set notifications. Thank you. Okay. Any further questions? I believe, uh, Dhruv, it's uh, time we wrap up your yeah. wonderful session. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> a huge round of applause. Thank you so much. And uh, if I may request, uh, Dhruv, if you could... Uh, Step on the center stage and may I now request Lynette Nair, General Manager, Digital Media, Geo, to kindly come on stage and give a memento to Dhruv. So ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause.
you can be much more louder everyone let's get the energy in the room if i may request lynette and dhruv if you could be at the center stage let's get you right in the limelight at the center so ladies and gentlemen we're right here at the day 2 of the third edition of the tech munch let's give a huge round of applause and thank you so much for joining us